My name is Dr. Philip Akadama Makanga presenting the poster on behalf of the authors. The poster is entitled, I swore to myself that men should never see my private parts unless I am giving birth. Women's experiences with self-sampling during community-based cervical cancer screening in rural Uganda. By way of background, you know that self-collected cervical vaginal specimens for cervical cancer screening is acceptable and preferable to women compared to collection of samples by clinicians. But we know that collecting a sample in a health facility is different from con collecting a sample in a community-based setting and that little is known about how women perceive the opportunity to collect a, a self to self-collect a sample for cervical cancer in the informal setting within their local community. So the author set out with, an obje with two objectives. One was to explore factors contributing to women's decisions to participate in HPV-based self-sampling for cervical cancer at health fairs in their community. And two, describe women's experiences and suggestions regarding self-sampling for cervical cancer screening in the community. Uh, it was a qualitative study that was done among women residing in rural Uganda who attended health fairs that featured self-collection of cervical vagina specimens for cervical cancer screening. Mobilization of the women was done by VHTs over a 14-day period within the districts of Hoima, Chiboga, and Changkwanzi. The mobilization was done using messages sent over the radio, churches, burial ceremonies, and posters that were put up in the community. We purposely sampled 18 women to participate in in-depth interviews, and the theme in the interviews explored issues around motivation to attend the health fair, perception about other women's desires to attend the fair, experiences regarding the self-collection of cervical vagina specimen at the fair, and suggestions for improvement. The fairs included educational talks to the women and instructions for self-collection of a cervical vagina specimen, and this was done within private areas created using tents. In terms of motivation to attend the fairs, the major motivation for fair attendance included preference for self-sampling, which assured women of privacy, as well as being less uncomfortable or invasive than a pelvic exam, perception of cancer risk, encouragement from peers, free screening, proximity of women's residences to screening sites. VHT messages also played a key role in motivating women, as shown by the quote below, quote, what helped me is that our VHT came and told me that health workers are coming to test us for cervical cancer, but they will not spread your legs to test you, but rather it will be yourself to test on your own. And it so happened that the testing is for free. And I said, I can't miss this opportunity. Let me go. And I had to come. In terms of experiences with self-sampling, most, re most women reported positive experiences with self-sampling in a community setting and they believe that the majority of the other women are likely to do so as well. One of the quotes to demonstrate is this, I quote, I and my colleagues with whom we screened were very happy and others remained yearning for it when we told them about it. We want doctors to come back another time so that they can also come and be screened, end of quote. Women reported that the rooms and tools used were comfortable and appropriate. One of the quotes to demonstrate this was, quote, even the rooms were very good. There was not any person who could peep through and the tools they gave us were soft and could not hurt us inside, end of quote. In terms of suggestions for improvements, the suggestions from women mainly focused on promoting cervical cancer screening rather than changes in the screening experience. The suggestions included more health education using VHDs and women who have undergone the self-sampling themselves and, and to do more regular screening within the communities. In conclusion, in a qualitative study in Uganda, we see that HPV sampling at health fairs in a local community setting was highly acceptable and self-sampling in informal facilities in the community did not elicit concerns about privacy, stigma, fear, or embarrassment. This implies that a community-based approach has the potential to efficiently increase uptake of cervical cancer screening in Uganda and other resource-limited settings. Thank you.